I would like to know if you forecast uh, uh, a moment uh, uh, when there will be a passage uh, between uh, uh, fiat currency and cryptocurrency in the world that it's so fast that uh, will be uh, bloods and revolution or will be smooth these passages between the two different uh, systems? Uh, that's a great question. History doesn't do smooth. History does punctuated equilibrium, spurts of innovation, disruption, and chaos, followed by centuries of plateau, followed by spurts of innovation. Um, I think it was Nicholas Negroponte from the MIT Media Club who said, the future is here today, it's just distributed unevenly. The passage from fiat to digital currencies or cryptocurrencies won't happen everywhere. It will happen in the places where the price of remaining with a currency is to lose the generational wealth of your children, where the penalty of pushing against your government is violence, and this gives you a mechanism to opt out where your government has taken you hostage together with the rest of the population in an economically disruptive spiral. And I don't know what will happen, but I think in 10 or 15 years, we will see moments where governments will try to take their populations hostage, and very large numbers of that population will go, eh, I don't think so. Argentina, Cyprus, Greece, Spain, and many other countries have faced currency challenges and economic depression because of currency challenges. There is enormous interest in Bitcoin in Argentina, for example, and now in Venezuela, where they just arrested two miners to make an example of them after flooding the media with stories about how Bitcoin is for terrorists, criminals, pedophiles, drug dealers. But the problem is that that message doesn't change the fact that Bitcoin doesn't have 550% inflation. <laughs> and when you're faced with that balance, sometimes you say, well, I'm going to get out. Now, today, a tiny, tiny portion of the population has the means, the education, the technical infrastructure, skills and capital to escape that trap, but one day it will be a big chunk of the population, and then things will happen very, very rapidly. Yeah, we will see that, I hope in my lifetime. <laughs>